Hello everybody, how goes it? Rabbitsmore here, and this is my tutorial for how to build a simple shop that you can use in multiplayer to buy and sell items. And for this example, I have two of the shops right next to each other just to show how closely you can build them next to each other, just in case you wanted to build a bunch of them going along with a bunch of different items for sale. And for my example here, I have, I can buy one iron ingot for one gold ingot, which is a pretty good deal. And this right one is one block of iron for one block of gold. So if I wanted to buy an iron ingot here, all I'd have to do is toss in a golden ingot. And my iron ingot pops out of the ground here and kind of warps around because it's kind of buggy when it pops through the ground. And if I wanted to buy multiples, I could just throw in, let's say three and three iron ingots will pop out there. And I could also stack these up into three before tossing them in and it still works just fine. We'll get three iron ingots that pop out there. And if someone wanted to come up and try to scam the system, it wouldn't work. So say I just throw in some iron ingots or just anything else that is not a gold ingot, nothing happens. And since we don't want to steal any blocks from anyone that might accidentally throw a block in, it does keep it in here so that people can pull it back out so it doesn't just get eaten up. And on the right side here, we'll do the same thing. A block of gold buys a block of iron. That pops up out of the ground and I can do multiples and all of those will come out. And again, throwing in the wrong item will not work, but it won't eat the item, so you can just take it right back out of the hopper. And if we go back around to the back of our system here, you can go underneath and collect our payments that our customers threw in, and we can restock the droppers that give out the payment to our customers here. So pretty simple design here in the back and easy to get around if you need to come down and collect things or restock. And obviously this works best on a server where you probably have a block protection system or an honor system where players can't just break in and steal your stuff. So this is actually pretty thief proof as it is with you would have walls here. You can't steal anything out of the hoppers. You can't get to the droppers. So if you have block protection on, it is great for that. And here's an example of just the shop by itself with any no sort of walls or anything. You can see it's pretty compact and light on resources. So let's get into building one of these. All right, let's go over the shopping list of what you're going to need for this build really quick here. So what we're gonna need is about 10 building blocks, just so you have some extras, whatever you wanna use here. A chest, one dropper, four hoppers, five redstone, one redstone torch, two repeaters, two comparators, and you will need an anvil handy so that you can rename some filler blocks because you will need to toss some blocks in here that are custom named into your hopper later on. So since the best spot to build this is underneath an area or underneath your shop, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to build it when you are digging out the area underneath. So first thing we're gonna do is pick a spot where we want the items to be popping out of the ground and I would recommend using a special block like I have here so that players know where it's going to be coming out of the ground. And once you have that spot chosen, just go ahead and place your special block there and then go three blocks in between, just break those out. And on this fourth one here, we're gonna place a hopper straight down so there are three empty blocks between these. Now head back to where you just marked where the items are going to be coming out and dig out a too tall area underneath that. And heading towards our hopper, we're going to do an eight long tunnel. So we already have one and two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And heading back towards the area where our item's going to be going through the ground, we can go left or right, it doesn't matter. I'm going to do right for this example and just dig a too tall tunnel all the way back eight long again. And right underneath where our hopper is, so make sure you line it up with where the hopper is, I'm going to dig out four blocks there. Next, what we're going to do is work on the item sorter system that pulls our items out that our customers throw in. So heading down here where we just dug out this four wide ditch, go to the very back of it, place a block here and a repeater in front of it. Just keep that normal at the first tick and a solid block in front of that with a redstone torch on the other side. And then right next to this redstone torch, we're going to place another solid block and one over the top of this repeater here. On top of this block, we're gonna place a comparator facing towards the back and two redstone dust going out of that. And then up above here, we're gonna go over to the side in front of here and place our chest that's gonna be collecting the payments and place a hopper going into the side of that there. This allows us to place our next hopper, which is going to be on top of this torch pointing into this hopper here. So make sure you hold sneak and click that into there. And I've kind of trapped myself in here, so I'm just gonna break out a block here to get up. But next thing we wanna do is right click a hopper onto the back of this comparator, so make sure you're holding sneak again, and place it so it is going sideways into the comparator here. Next, we're going to work on hooking up our dropper so it gives the payments out correctly. 
So starting from where you just placed this chest and the hopper next to it, we're gonna start at the hopper next to the chest and place a comparator facing towards where the items are going to be popping up through the ground. Place a repeater in front of that and a solid block. And then we're gonna place our dropper on this block facing straight up. So make sure you get an angle from above somehow. You might need to break this block out, but you should place it and not see any holes on the sides. And that means that it is facing straight up. So I can double check there, show that it's facing straight up. Just place a block on top of that. And next to this area over here, next to this chest and next to the comparators and the repeaters, just place three redstone dust here. So you'll have one next to the repeater, the comparator and the solid block there. And this allows our system to pulse and make sure that it is popping out one item for each item tossed in. So like I said, for this next part, we're going to be needing an anvil and we will need 21 filler blocks of your choice. It doesn't matter as long as it is a stackable item, you will need 21 of it. Toss it into your anvil and rename it to whatever you want. It doesn't matter, just to make sure it is something kind of random so other players won't guess it. Grab it out of your anvil and head over to your item sorter. And what we want is the hopper right next to the comparator in our sorter system here. Open it up and toss three of those filler items there in the center and the last 18 on the far right side. And this left side is going to be the item that we want for whatever we are selling. So our selling item will be here and this is what we will be receiving. So I'm going to be selling blocks of gold for diamonds, which means I'm going to toss a diamond in here and you will need to toss one more of whatever item you are wanting to take here, which will go down into this bottom hopper. And now this is ready to take additional diamonds. So if I throw another one in, you can hear our dropper click there and it goes into our payment chest here. So that's ready to go. And then all we have to do is fill up our dropper on this side with whatever item we are wanting to sell. So I'm gonna to toss in blocks of gold here and obviously you can fill in this entire thing. And with the payment chest, you can also make this into a double chest if you needed to. But this is now ready to go with your item that you wanted to take as your payment and your dropper that will shoot it up through the ground. So I'm gonna go ahead and close off the ground here so we don't have items flying all over the place. And now if I toss in a diamond, we should get a block of gold that pops up. There we go. And if we throw in multiples, it should do the same thing. Awesome, so very good, the shop is ready to go. The last thing you need to do is make sure that you put a sign up so players know what they're buying and make sure you have an easy way to access the bottom that only you can get to so you can collect your payments and refill your dropper whenever you need to. But that's it guys, you have your shop ready to go. If you wanna put them next to each other, you just tile this whole thing over right next to it, it's just fine. Even if your redstone is touching, like this redstone dust touches a comparator off to the side, it's fine, it won't break the system so you can build them really close to each other, just like our example here. But yeah, hope you guys use this to build some really cool shops in multiplayer, and I hope this helped you out. If it did, you can always leave a like on the video, and if you wanna see more videos like this, you can always subscribe and check out the rest of my channel. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, have an excellent day, and see you later.